see, it is a very rainy day here in Seattle. Uh, we are going to Joanne Fabrics, which you would maybe see beyond there, Joanne Fabrics. Uh, we're going in there, we're gonna get some stuff. I'm building some props for Valentine's Day today. So we're gonna see if they have some, I need some white fluff. I'm trying to make some sort of cloud stool sculpture. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make something from my imagination. So we're gonna see how that works out. Cloud stool. All right, guys, already distracted by all the fabric. Like the pink, because we're doing V-Day. Oh, love it. But it's okay, we have a similar pink at the studio. Dun, 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 dun. We're looking for fluff. I'm thinking. I mean, fur could work, but I don't necessarily know. Let's look. Hmm. I mean, this one's kind of nice. It's also about price, $19.99. $6.50. a yard, really? White fur. Okay, we'll hold up. Polyfill. I don't necessarily have that fake snow kind of looking fluff. Toasty cotton. Okay, I don't know. I'm almost feeling this guy. The husky. I could Photoshop it to look like clouds. That's not 100% what we wanted. So then I'm like, now is my cloud rug gonna be a shag rug? Uh, or stool? Cloud stool? Cloud stool for stool? Wait for stool. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna get some of this and I think I'm gonna get one of those. What is this? Polyfill, low fill, quilt bedding, lightweight, breathable. I feel like just one sheet. $16.99. What is our discount price here? $16.99. They don't have that. They have $14.99 and $19.99. Stupid. Okay, well, I'm going to figure this out and I will see you guys at the studio. All right, guys, we are now at Michael's because I could not find feathers at... Joanne Fabrics and all of the employees were too busy for me to ask anybody where they might be. And I know exactly where they are in Michaels because I know everything about Michaels. I used to actually work as stock for Michaels, but only for like four months, but I learned a lot. And I would totally work at Michaels as a stock person or cashier again. But I think the fact that I just quit one day, I can't work for Michaels again. But hey, Michaels, you ever wanna hire me again? Yeah! I would work for you because I like crafts. Um, and I only quit because I worked stock at three in the morning, one day a week, and no other shift as much as I tried to ask for more shifts and to be a cashier. Um, but beyond that, we're here for feathers. We're here for feathers. We're going to go get feathers and then we're going to go to the studio. I did get distracted and I bought some other pretty things, uh, that I think will fit for our pink and Valentine's Day, uh, setup and things we're doing. Uh, I'm making props today and we're going to hopefully set up later or more so tomorrow, but... Uh, let's do that and I will see you guys inside Michael's. everybody I can say I'm having a little bit of a rough day but when I'm not feeling my best if I can muster it I do my best to push through and make art so that's what we're gonna do today like I said not feeling my best but you know life is about highs and lows ups and downs and how we manage them so that's what I'm trying to do and I hope that I can kind of share that with you guys uh, as a little bit of a deeper layer on today's video. Um, so we're going to be making something that I guess is in my brain. I tried to look up inspiration uh, for this idea. I want to make uh, a prop that a model could sit on, so it's like a stool or a box, um, but specifically I wanted it to be 
I'm calling it a cloud stool because I'm doing a angel ethereal vibe type shoot for uh, and set up for Valentine's Day and I have a few models coming in as well as if anybody wants to book me to take their picture you can come in and I can take your picture with this setup as well as the setup will be here at the studio if you would like to book the studio and just use my setup either one works for me you don't have to just take pictures with me I would love to take pictures with you but if you just want to come and create in my studio that's totally cool and fine by me um, but so I'm trying to make a prop and like I said try to make a stool so we're gonna start with this and, and ignore my bad spray painting here everybody um, but I found this pink box um, and it's kind of a sturdy one that was like the main thing I need something a little more sturdy um, and this one is obviously one that is supposed to be like sat on it has a lid there's a little bit of a cushion and so like if I sit on it it doesn't really like move too much so like I said that was my main thought is like model sitting and you know I always love some side posing here like this turn this way you know there's just a lot you could do if you just have like a small little prop um, but I don't want it to be hot pink even though I do kind of regret spray painting it because um, I wanted white because uh, we're trying to make a cloud and clouds are white so because um, I have another pink setup and I could have left this pink and it could have fit really nicely but that's besides the point we're focusing on cloud stool right now so this is gonna be our base for this project um, again this is totally from my mind there's no like blueprints or references really for me to go off of so I'm just kind of creating from my mind so uh, I did try and spray paint it which did not go well uh, as you can see and really I spray painted it brown and then uh, I spray painted it gold because that's the only color I usually have is gold and I almost thought that that was going to be a good idea but I was like no nah, I think I want white and I went and bought really expensive fabric spray paint uh, which was nice so if you guys want to spray clothes or something and change colors uh, which I didn't know is a thing that there is spray paint for fabric um, it was expensive more than normal spray paint and a smaller can uh, it was $6.99 for each one and I got two of them so that was like $12 uh, I was only able to spray two sides with just one can and it's not even like that good of a job uh, I can also like I'll clip in I did take a little video of me trying to like spray paint this so I'll like clip that in for a second and that'll be right here so that you guys can check that out um, but when we come back uh, I will then uh, show you that like okay I need to cut there hold on uh, I only could do two sides this side looks okay I don't mind this uh, this was me attempting to just spray paint with just the fabric spray paint and that's kind of how it came out and then I would have had to use the other spray paint to get the other two sides and that's where I felt like maybe that wasn't the route to go to get a white base um, so there's that and then I thought about fabric uh, I randomly have this piece of it's a old um, pillowcase I got it at Goodwill when I bought this because my initial thought was I was gonna spray paint the entire bottom and then put this guy like on top in some manner uh, to have I don't know I thought it was just an extra it's really like a thick one so it's cushiony um, so I may or may not still be using this mainly for the top um, but we'll see how this goes so I have this um, I went to Michael's and we found some polyfill uh, and this is uh, more so specifically like a uh, or I'll open it because polyfill usually comes in like just the fluff like I have a bin of it over there just the fluff which we'll have around the stool so that it looks like the stool is like in the clouds and the models in the clouds um, but I figure ooh, there's more of this than I thought so this really might be perfect so I figure I could probably cover our stool in this and then yeah that's what I thought I can probably like fluff this out so that it looks a little fluffy um, are my thoughts so those are currently our steps so we have polyfill and then I even actually um, found um, craft fluff while I was at the craft store because um, I don't want to use all of my polyfill that's over there um, because that's supposed to be like the scene around and I don't know if I have enough and I might have to order more so 
I wasn't sure and I didn't want to use what is supposed to be like ground covering and maybe even a little bit of the wall. Um, so I found some some just fluff. This is just some fluff I found at Michael's. It comes like this. So I, I think that I can maybe like sculpt this and glue it on and make my cloud look fluffier. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. I have four packs of this fluff as well as I had the one bag of the polyfill. Um, if you guys are wondering, like, trying to recreate this or do something similar and are like, what items do I need? Uh, one, just think about what you're trying to create. Um, like, that was me. One, I spray painted first. Oops, let's go back. Spray painted first. That didn't work out. Um, when I was at the store, I saw felt, which also made me think about this whole polyfill thing, which I'm now excited about seeing this. Um, and then the fact that I could probably make extra fluff and if I don't use this on the stool, I have one more prop plan that came to me while I was at the store. So we'll see how this all goes about making clouds and fluff. Alright guys, and we have our craft pile over there of all our items to try and make this stool white and fluffy like a cloud. Um, and then this is going to be our main tool, which I love. It's just this is going to be a bunch of hot glue. We're just hot gluing all over this stool. Uh, I will be figuring out how to, I'm either going to cut or maybe wrap the stool like a present. I don't know. You'll see me do that. In It has now been cut up into pieces. Uh, I used one piece here, I used one piece here, and then currently I am gluing together our top so that this is more what we're working with for a base for this cloud, cloud stool. Again, this doesn't actually exist. This is something I just came up in my head of wanting um, a prop that a model could sit on that fit in to this ethereal angel cloud scene that I will be setting up. So.
processes are cloud sculpture, stool thing I'm working on. Um, we have our first little layer of fuzz, which I like. I'm going to like pluck it out so it looks fluffy. And then I'm actually going to try and create some cloud aspect on the bottom. Um, you'll see in a second. Again, no idea what I'm actually doing. Just crafting and trying to make something that is in my head real and ta tangible. And try and figure out if I'm going to use this. This is like a bit more fluffy than this. And I mean, if you look at them closely, you can see a texture difference. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. This is polyfill, and then this is like, was called craft fluffed, and it's just different. Um, and I like this. It's really soft and fluffy. This is a little more coarse. Um, but they're both cloud-esque materials, so, so we're trying to figure out how to make our couch look, or our stool look more like a cloud. Um, okay, sorry, I'm distracted and playing around. I think I will glue this little piece of polyfill, and I just went like this to try and like fluff her up. Fluff, 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 we're fluffing. All right, now this is the part that's literally ridiculous because I need to fill this whole area with this. And like, look at that. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna pop the lid off a little bit. And look, this comes off and we'll just fix that. Just like that, everybody, it's fixed. That's why hot glue is nice, okay. Oh no, and then I put the hot glue in the fluff. Okay. I'm gonna put some... Oh no. I went and got more of the glue sticks, and I already went through a whole bag of 40. We have 30 more now. Gonna put some glue here, and we'll add some fluff. I'm just like, five years later, guys. Or what is it? The Spongebob meme that everybody likes. You know, one eternity later. I'll like cut that in um, for you guys in a moment. But we'll glue a couple together and then I'll just time lapse this. And it'll be part of the extended extended scene for patrons. If you want to actually watch me sit here and glue all of this. Uh, Alright. One eternity later. We are not done. I will say that. I am just tired because I have been here for five hours and I would like to go eat food and just do something else for a little bit. Um, but this is what we have working with. Um, I did just kind of throw the uh, fuzz, I don't know, the fluff on top because I wanted you guys to kind of see the vibe and then if I come to the side you'll see I still have to glue on this side and I think I'll glue this side. So just the two sides. And then now I'm debating if I want to do this on top or not. It looks really good. So like, you know, take this off. That's more of what it looks like. So that's where I was just playing around and just seeing how it would look. And I will make my final decision tomorrow on how I will be finishing my little cloud chair. But I think it came out pretty good so far. And I'm excited for my shoot tomorrow and to take pictures with this all Valentine's 
like month for me because I'll be shooting Valentine's photos for the rest of the month um, and then dropping them to share with you guys next month. All right. Well, I will be back tomorrow. Thank you.